Brebes is the largest salad or red onion production center in central Java, even in Indonesia. It was recorded that in 2014, almost 40% of the national production of red onion came from Brebes. In these areas, there are around hundreds of thousand villagers who depend on the red onion agricultural sector. It's natural that most of the local people depend their economic life on this sector. There are two major activities in the onion farming, production and post-production which are mostly played by the owner or skipper and farm laborers. The production or planting process consists of process of land preparation and soil cultivation, planting, maintenance, including fertilization and pest removal, and harvesting. Meanwhile, the post-production process is the process of bringing onions from field to get ready for market. Based on the social structure, on a closer look, the involvement of various parties with the various roles and position in the sector is very complex. Likewise, the patterns of working relationship that exist within them are between one group and another. The working culture of poor farming workers group had not experienced much fundamental change for traditional or feudal colonial and post-independence era. The changes that occurred in the work culture actually revealed the strengthening of family cooperation to overcome the workload that should be borne by the family in order to meet the subsistence needs for clothing, food, and shelter. In this case, they mobilize all potential workers they had in one family. The continuity of this work culture are also due to the fact that the crop husbandry technology and post-harvest processing for onion haven't been accommodated. Some of the works that have to be done manually is included in these two processes. During the planting period, there are types of work fertilizing, pulling weeds around the crops, looking for pests, watering the crops, and giving pesticide and spraying regularly. All works during the planting period is borne by the cultivators or peasant who oblige to take care of the crops, including giving remuneration to do so. The cultivators or owner usually employ the workers to do all the works. The task division of the farm workers in this stage of work is also different. For the work of fertilizing, watering, and giving pesticide, it's usually performed by men, while several works are performed by women, such as watering onion crops. The crops husbandry process requires a variety of mandatory equipment, including spraying tanks and pesticide. Therefore, in this husbandry process, the farm workers are more vulnerable to being exposed to pesticide, and there have even been poisoning cases. Based on a scientific study, the poisoning incidents could not only occur to the farm workers, but also to their family or wife.
This direct exposure occurred when they washed the clothes of their family members who took care of the onion crops. Compare with the post-harvest technology for the rice, which is relatively well developed, the post-harvest processing technology for the onion is still not developed at all, or hasn't been developed. Hence, human worker is still very much needed. This opportunity has finally encouraged the mutual cooperation culture to continue. The post-harvest process, the use of human worker, in this case labor, has the same high risk of the pesticide exposure as the workers in the production or planting process. In this process, the harvested onion are then purchased by the onion boss to be brought to lapak or stall. In the lapak, the onions are cleaned and packaged to be distributed to a wider range of distribution agents. Moreover, Brewers become a post-harvest processing center for onion from various regions in Indonesia. Therefore, the need for a post-harvest worker is very high in line with the increasing work volume. Men, women, elderly, teenagers, adults, and children are also employed to this post-harvest process. The following are the types of work involved in the post-harvest process, namely harvesting, staking, binding, transporting, drying the onions under the sun, separating the onions from the stems, and filtering the rotten onions. The farm workers who work in the onion field will be paid according to the working hour and job variety. On the average, the male workers who work for a half a day generally get a wage of 70,000 rupiah, while the female workers get 50,000 rupiah. Meanwhile, the wages for the onion workers who work in the post-harvest are varied. The male workers who work for a half a day generally get a wage of 50,000 rupiah, while the female workers get 40,000 rupiah. Meanwhile, if they are asked to work full day until the late afternoon, the male workers get 80,000 rupiah, while the female workers get 70,000 rupiah. However, it doesn't include for the meal allowance. The working hour from 5 a.m. in the early morning until 5.30 p.m. in the evening. According to this wage distribution, Work in the onion agricultural sector is considered very profitable for workers, the majority of whom are still in the family sphere. Meanwhile, in the production process, planting onion becomes a strategic way to survive and elevate social status for the local. <laughs> Hajj became the measurement of the success of the onion farmers. There are several studies who have been conducted to examine the high dose usage of pesticide. The study found that the pesticide metabolites were detected in several children. They could come into direct contact with soil, onion plant, via roots, leaves, and stems. 
The children help their parents to cut leaves, carry onion home, wash clothes and spraying equipment, and remove dirt from onion seeds. They usually did this activity with open arms and without using personal protective equipment, such as rubber gloves or masks. The prevalence of stunning among children in the same age in central Java was 28.6%, and in Brebes Regency, this symptom was very high, which was 40.7%. It informs us that this phenomenon is real and need to be noticed and handled appropriately.